Um, I am on my way to my doctor's appointment today. Today is May the 8th. It's about 8.28, almost 8.30 in the morning. Um, we're supposed to be there at 10.15. Let me start out by telling y'all, thank you, Jesus. I feel so much better today. Um, in my last video, I was kind of talking about, I guess, what I had been experiencing from the injections. I mean, y'all, I, I kind of wanted to get on yesterday to discuss this and kind of see or get some feedback um, from anyone who may have, ex I mean, it was just <laughs> discomfort abdominal discomfort um my pelvic area and it i know that it's not my ovaries because nothing is grown well nothing was um there was no progress that day because that was the same day that i got my uh, follicle skin and blood work so i knew it wasn't my ovaries just yet but my oh my goodness my i did look up some of the side effects of the meds and for both of them, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, for both of them, one of the biggest things that I've dealt with is bloat. I have never, I don't even, I, I don't even experience that kind of bloat with my menstrual cycle. It is awful. And I don't want to scare anybody because your experience may not be my experience and vice versa. But, man, it was hard to sit. <laughs> it was hard to uh, stand, like, especially on my right side. It, at one point, I thought my appendix was inflamed. I, I just, man, y'all. But I feel better today. Thank God. I feel, I feel not 100% um, because even when I got in the car this morning, I still felt a little pinch or ping on my right lower side, which was giving me most of my discomfort and pain the other day. Um, I've been continuing with the protocol that they've given me. Um, I remember telling you guys that I was supposed to take the Minipure for three days uh, which was Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, May 3rd, 4th, and 5th. And then come Monday, I was supposed to not take the Minipure. But because, you know, after the blood work and the scans and everything, my nurse, she called and said, continue taking everything the same. So that's what I've been doing. And um, that's another thing, y'all, dizziness. Oh my gosh. I experience a lot of dizziness with Minipure. And I'm just like, you know what? I think I I think I I kind of slept on this process a little bit because of course, you know, I went on YouTube and I watched other people's experiences and what they felt and a lot of people were saying some of the same things and I was just like, you know, I'll be all right. You know, just kind of thinking only because Throughout this journey, period, I've been on so many different types of medications from treatments to just all types of stuff. And so I never, rarely do I feel most of the side effects that um, that the package talks about. So this time I was like, yeah, I'm not going to feel much of anything. It's going to, you know, I'll be okay. Day one, two, and three, I was fine, y'all. That by day four, I felt like I felt like something had hit me. A car or a truck or something. I, I just I did not feel like myself. Um I was weepy. I wasn't emotional. But I was just weepy and just tired and fatigued and feeling like just not like myself so that was something that was extremely different extremely different so just a forewarning for you guys um you know 
you know, I'm not trying to scare anyone, but just be aware that when you start taking your injections, they are hormones. And so, you know, it's, it's because it's IVF, it's a little bit more or maybe a lot of bit more than what your body normally produces on its own. So because of that, you know, you may be hormonal, a little extra hormonal. Um, but that was my experience. And I'm just so grateful today that today feels like a much better day for me. I'll actually be able to go to this appointment today, another day of blood work, another day of ultrasound or follicle scans. And, you know, prayerfully, um, we will have some good results today. That is my that is my prayer for this morning that we have some progress today. Um, and if not, I'm praying that you know they're ready to up this dose. I'm hoping that she would at least be ready to increase my dose on something. Um, we'll see. We, we we'll see y'all. All right, quick, you guys. I just wanted to give you a scan of the room. It's very basic, real simple. There's the monitor. That's where I'll be. That's pretty much the room. So I'm getting ready to um, not change, but get undressed so that they can go ahead and do the ultrasound and do this follicle scan, y'all. So let's see what's going on. Either way, I'm encouraged. We're going to keep moving forward but I'm praying for some progress today. Now, I was trying to wait until I got the phone call from my doctor's office to let me know. I already knew what my follicle scan results were and um, I was waiting to hear back from my nurse for further instructions. Um, as far, well, she really didn't give me an update on my um, E2 or estrogen levels but I knew based on the size of my follicles today that there was no progression. So, um, of course, I was sad. And when I left the doctor's office, I just, I had a a mixture of emotions. Um, again, definitely encouraged because, you know, like I said, with PCOS, it's a little bit more difficult to kind of gauge exactly what dose I need. So that's the most encouraging part, the fact that I know that I'm not out of the game. Um, but at the same time, I also know that I'm gonna have to do these injects a little bit longer. So my nurse just called and she said, you know, you still have a whole, <laughs> a whole lot of follicles, which I saw that um, on the ultrasound and she said they are still very small. So um, the last couple of days, you guys, I've been telling you, I've, I've felt horrible. But today I felt a lot better. And so just having to deal with that and decipher those emotions and feelings and all that, um, I felt a little bit of pulling and twinging and needles type sensations um, on both sides, really. So I felt like, you know, possibly um, the medication may have been waking up things. Um, and I kind of felt that it wasn't intense at all. It was very, very light every so often here and there. So I feel like the, the medicine, the, the injections they were doing something but just not enough so she called and um that's what she said basically we're still you know our follicles are still very small and of course i think you know that correlates with the estrogen she really didn't tell me what that was but i'm sure it was really low so my doctor decided to increase my gonal f from 37.5 to 75 i use um and for the Minipure, I'm going to stay on 75 IUs. I think for the Minipure, she wants to be a little bit more careful because with PCOS, we typically <clears throat> have high levels of um, LH in our system already. And so uh, Minipure 
it has a combination of F F S H and L H in it. it. It has those two ingredients um, that make up the Minipure shot. And so to increase that, it would it would mature my eggs, but it would possibly be over processed, almost like a perm or a relaxer. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. I have not taken anything today. I haven't taken any shots um, as far as injection wise. I haven't taken any shots. So as soon as I log off, I'm going to go ahead and do my Gonal F shot 75 I use. And then later on tonight, I will do the 75 I use of Minipur. I do have to go back. Today's Thursday, May the 8th, I believe. I do have to go back on May 10th on Friday um, to do more blood work and another ultrasound to see, you know, if if we can get things moving at this point. So that is my update. Um, like I said, I was emotional. I, I had on my worship music going. I had on my worship music coming back home. And, you know, again, I was really just focused on the goodness of God and just so grateful for all of the things that he's done for us, even the opportunity for us to even be able to do IVF at this point in our lives. And so it's so easy to get in um, situations like this and forget about all of the wonderful things that he's already done for us. And sometimes you feel like he, God, you know, doesn't hear you. He doesn't hear your cries. He doesn't um, recognize when you're hurting, but I know that he does. That is my encouragement for today. Yes, I was down. Yes, I was sad about it. Um, but I'm moving on. You know, I'm going to continue to be encouraged. And like I said, it's not the end. I'm not out of the game. We just now have to change the game plan. If you guys have any advice, any comments or anything, um, especially if you have PCOS or just anything that has caused you to hit us uh a stumbling block or um, just where I am in this journey, please comment down below. I hope this journey is helping you all. If there's anything that I left out, if there's anything that you feel I need to add, let me know. Just let me know um, if you want to see some things. Um, like I said, I'm not really doing too many videos on my current shots because it's pretty much the same thing. I'm doing Gano F in the morning, men appear at night. And I hope that our footage and what we capture in our journey helps you um, in your journey. So until I chime in again, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day today. Um, and just be blessed. Keep me in your prayers and like I said, we're going to keep pushing, we're going to stay encouraged, and we're going to get through this. We're going to do it together. Thank y'all for watching, and until we see you again.